September 11, 2025. A California sunrise spills across a quiet runway. No thunder, no roar, no headlines. Just a shadow moving against the light. The second B-21 Raider lifts from the earth, silent as thought, as steady as destiny. No cameras close enough to hear it. No radar bold enough to find it. Only a handful of witnesses know. History just turned the page. For decades, the world measured power by noise. Engines, afterburners, sonic booms, the louder the machine, the stronger the nation. But not today. Today, power sounds like nothing at all. Because the B-21 isn't here to shout. It's here to remind the world that silence, when engineered by purpose, can shake the planet. They call it a bomber. But that word belongs to another age. This isn't a weapon built to destroy cities. It's a promise built to protect them. It doesn't charge through clouds with fire. and It moves through air like an idea, pure, precise, and untouchable. Every rivet, every curve, every algorithm exists for one reason, to make the impossible routine. This is the world's first sixth generation stealth bomber, a flying computer that learns, adapts, and endures. A gray ghost designed not to fight the past, but to outthink the future. After the Cold War, people said the bomber was obsolete, that missiles and satellites made them relics. But deep inside the Pentagon, a question lingered. What happens when the sky itself becomes contested? China built radar nets so dense they could catch shadows. Russia fielded S-400 and S-500 defense grids, capable of painting the stratosphere with invisible traps. The United States faced a reality. Its legendary B-2 spirit, once the very symbol of invisibility, was growing old. Maintenance costs soared. Its stealth coating peeled. Its 1980s electronics whispered in analog. The Air Force needed something else. Not just unseen, but unknowable. So Northrop Grumman went dark. Behind sealed hangars in Palmdale, California, thousands of engineers chased a dream. Few dared describe out loud. To build an aircraft the enemy could never even imagine. The result wasn't an upgrade. It was an awakening. The B-21 Raider is smaller than the B-2, lighter, smarter, cheaper, and infinitely stealthier. Its shape looks simple, but simplicity is deception. Every edge is calculated to redirect radar like ripples in water. Its intakes are thin as blades, flush with the body. Its engines hide deep inside, exhaling only cold air. The skin itself eats radiation across multiple frequencies. Where the B-2 reflected a trace, the B-21 absorbs the thought of reflection. Experts whisper its radar signature is smaller than a bird. Some say a bee, only the engineers know for sure, and they're not talking. On its first flight, the control room fell silent. Every second of silence meant success. When it landed, there was no cheering, only the quiet understanding that a new century had begun. Because this plane doesn't just evade radar, it evades time. Each B-21 is born with a digital twin, a virtual clone that lives in the cloud. Every flight feeds data to its mirror. Every upgrade is tested in simulation before touching metal. Software updates arrive like breath. Sensors change overnight. Nothing about the Raider is static. It doesn't age, it evolves. Inside its brain, millions of lines of code fuse radar, infrared, and electronic signals into one seamless vision. The Raider doesn't just see targets, it interprets them. It knows the difference between a decoy and a threat. It can fly with fighters, lead drones, jam enemy radars, and feed real-time intelligence to ships half a world away. It's a commander, a spy, and a shield all in one. And sometimes it does it without a pilot. The B-21 is optionally manned. It can fly with a crew of two or none at all. Its autonomy is so refined it can plot courses, avoid threats, and complete missions with no human hands on the stick. In warfare measured by milliseconds, the Raider moves at the speed of thought. But don't mistake silence for weakness. This ghost still has teeth? It can carry up to 50,000 pounds of ordnance, from precision JDAMS, to bunker busters, to standoff missiles. For nuclear missions, it deploys the AGM-181 long-range standoff cruise missile, a weapon tested four times successfully in 2025 alone. Stealth missile? Stealth bomber, a combination so invisible that defense experts call it the perfect ghost strike. One plane can cripple a fortress. One mission can end a war before it starts. That's not escalation, that's deterrence. Because the surest way to keep peace is to own the sky so completely, no one else dares enter it. If this story gives you chills, subscribe, like, and share it with someone who still believes in quiet power. And here's the miracle few believed possible, cost. The B-2 Spirit cost $2.25 billion each when adjusted for inflation. 
The B-21 Raider cost $692 million, one-third the price, twice the range of capability. How? Digital engineering, robotics, shared technology. By building the Raider virtually before it ever touched reality, Northrop Grumman cut design errors from 15% to under one. The engines share DNA with the F-35's Pratt and Whitney F-135, streamlining production and maintenance. Augmented reality guides technicians on the assembly floor. Robotic arms fit panels to micron precision. Cloud-linked software tracks every component across 40 states. This is how you build excellence at scale. The Air Force doesn't plan to buy 20, it plans to buy hundreds. A fleet large enough to blanket the globe in invisible certainty. Range defines strategy and the Raiders range rewrites it. Over 5,000 miles without refueling. Enough to take off from American soil, cross oceans, hit targets on the other side of the world, and return home. No tankers, no forward bases, no risk to crew outside U.S. borders. That's not just engineering, that's independence. It means America can project power from safety. It means the B-21 can fly when every runway in the Pacific is under fire. It means deterrence without exposure. One plane, infinite reach. Every advancement in the Raider carries a message. Two adversaries. We see you even when you can't see us. Two allies. You're safe beneath our wings because for all its secrecy, the B-21 is not a weapon of fear. It's a weapon of reassurance. Its very existence says peace is protected. The louder the world gets, the more its quiet matters. Across America, factory lights burn through the night. 8,000 engineers, 400 suppliers, 40 states, all breathing life into a single idea. Palmdale builds the wings. Cedar Rapids codes the brain. Oklahoma prepares the heart that will keep it flying. Each component logged, tracked, tested. Every nut, every circuit mirrored in a digital twin that never sleeps. If a sensor vibrates in the desert, its twin knows instantly in the cloud. This isn't manufacturing, it's orchestration. The B-21 isn't just an aircraft, it's an ecosystem. Maintenance is predictive, not reactive. Failures are prevented, not repaired. A thousand invisible decisions happen before the pilot even straps in. Where the B-2 required hours of fragile coding repair after every mission, the B-21 can roll straight back out. Its skin shrugs off weather, heat, and time. It was designed not to demand attention, but to earn it. That's readiness, the kind of readiness that wins decades before war begins. Critics said it couldn't be done. They said no defense project ever finishes on time, but the Raider did. The first flight, November 2023, the second, September 11th, 2025, on schedule, on budget, on mission. While other programs drown in overruns, this one glides in silence, efficient as the aircraft itself. Congress noticed, so did the world. Billions approved for accelerated production. Ellsworth Air Force Base preparing the first squadron. Runways resurfaced, simulators humming, pilots in training. By the end of the decade, the B-21 will patrol the edges of the map, a silent contract written in American Resolve. And yet, ask the pilots what it feels like to fly. They'll tell you it's nothing like a bomber. Inside, the cockpit feels more like a command center from the future. Displays curve seamlessly, data flows in holographic layers. Artificial intelligence manages the noise, leaving the crew to think, decide, and create strategy at altitude. They don't just fly, they orchestrate. Because the B-21 is not a hammer, it's a symphony conductor. It tells drones where to scout, fighters where to flank, ships where to aim. It's a single node that can run an entire war network. And sometimes, it does so alone. Autonomy in the Raider isn't gimmickry, it's survival. In a sky saturated with hypersonic missiles and electronic traps, a second of hesitation can cost a fleet. The B-21 removes hesitation. It predicts, evades, and acts before the threat has a name. And if it must vanish into enemy airspace for 30 hours straight, it can without radio chatter, without guidance, without refueling. The mission parameters, classified. The confidence, absolute. Every weapon bay in this machine is a question mark for adversaries. What does it carry tonight? Conventional payloads that crack mountain bunkers? Standoff missiles that glide for hundreds of miles? Or the AGM-181LRSO, a nuclear whisper designed to slip through defenses? Before any radar knows what passed by, nobody outside that cockpit ever knows, and that's the beauty of deterrence. Fear lives in uncertainty. Peace lives in control. The Raider gives America both. Now imagine its reach. From Ellsworth in South Dakota, a raider can cross the Pacific, strike a hardened site near the Chinese coast, and return home no tanker, no stopover, no trace. 5,000 miles of range and still margin to spare. The Pacific Theater once demanded vulnerable chains of bases and refuelers. 
Not anymore. The B-21 erases geography, distance is no longer protection. And that realization echoes in every defense ministry from Moscow to Beijing. Yet for all its power, the Raider is humble in design. No flamboyant markings, no kill counts, only matte gray skin that swallows sunlight. It carries its patriotism in discipline, not decoration. Because America doesn't build for applause, it builds for assurance. And this aircraft is assurance incarnate. Think about cost again. $692 million, it sounds immense until you compare legacy fleets. The B-2, two billion each. The B-1 aging, thirsty, expensive to sustain. The B-52 heroic, but conceived when televisions were black and white. The Raider consolidates them all. Nuclear precision, conventional flexibility, global endurance in one frame. Fewer aircraft, broader reach, lower upkeep. That's efficiency turned into strategy. What truly sets the B-21 apart isn't stealth, cost, or range. It's adaptability. Every system in this jet is modular. New weapons, plug them in. New sensors, mount, test, upload. New AI modules, deploy overnight. No redesign, no decade-long upgrade cycle. It's a living platform built to evolve as threats evolve. Tomorrow's warfare will look nothing like today's and the Raider already knows how to meet it. It's the smartphone of air power, but forged in titanium and trust. In every great aircraft, there's a philosophy hiding behind the fuselage. For the Raider, that philosophy is simple. Be unseen, be ready, be decisive. It doesn't rely on speed. It relies on inevitability. By the time you know it's there, it's already home. Military historians often describe eras by their aircraft. The P-51 defined courage. The B-17 defined sacrifice. The B-52 defined endurance. The B-2 defined invisibility. The B-21 Raider, it defines intelligence. Because raw power without intellect is noise. And this century belongs to the quiet thinkers that act faster than the loud ones. Inside its hangar before each mission, technicians whisper the same ritual words. Check twin sync. They mean the digital twin, the ghost within the ghost, the virtual reflection that updates in real time. That twin can simulate entire combat scenarios overnight, predict component stress, anticipate weather impact, even recommend mission profiles. By dawn, the real aircraft wakes up smarter than it was the day before. Machines that learn daily, humans that sleep better nightly. That's the legacy of the B-21. But don't mistake intelligence for detachment. This machine carries heart, a pilot's heartbeat synced with the nation's pulse. Every takeoff is a promise that freedom still has wings, that peace still has guardians. The Raider's purpose is paradox to deter by presence, to protect by invisibility, to embody strength through restraint. When it rises into the night, it carries the weight of silence that has kept wars cold and futures intact. Beyond the specs and the secrets, there's a human truth behind this aircraft. In every bolt lies the patience of an engineer who believed in impossible math. In every circuit lies a whisper of every pilot who ever flew into danger. In every mission lies the dream of never needing to drop a single bomb. That's what makes the B-21 more than metal. It's memory made airborne. Somewhere right now it's flying, maybe over the Pacific, maybe above the Arctic, maybe you'll never know. That's the point. Its shadow keeps the world balanced. Its silence keeps the night calm. The people who build it don't crave fame, they crave precision. Because perfection, unseen, is the highest form of patriotism. The Raider teaches us something profound that the future of defense isn't about bigger explosions, it's about smaller signatures. It's about intelligence over intimidation, discipline over drama, resolve over rhetoric. In an age of noise, America once again leads with quiet confidence. By 2040, the B-21 fleet will replace the aging B-1 Lancers and B-2 Spirits. By 2050, it may even complement the immortal B-52. Together, they'll form a two-generation bomber force. Old power and new ghost. The B-52 will thunder, the B-21 will whisper, and between thunder and whisper, freedom will endure. When the Raider taxis after a mission, it doesn't return triumphant. It returns ready. Technicians log data, algorithms analyze flight stress, upgrades begin before the wheels stop turning. Every sortie becomes a lesson, every lesson becomes an evolution. That's how you stay ahead, not by shouting, but by listening to the silence between victories. In Palmdale, a child presses against a fence, watching a silver shape vanish into morning haze. He asks his father, where did it go? The father smiles, exactly where it was meant to. That's the spirit of the B-21 Raider the aircraft built not to be seen, but to be felt. A symbol of what happens when a nation believes in building the impossible, not for conquest, but for peace preserved through excellence. 
So when you look at the night sky and see nothing at all, remember somewhere, something extraordinary is keeping it that way. The future isn't coming. It's already airborne, silent, precise, relentless. The B-21 Raider, the ghost that rewrites war, <laughs> the guardian that ensures peace, and the living proof that American innovation still flies highest when the world is watching nothing at all.